What's up everyone? This is Jen Delian with Ski TV and tonight I am with Joey Battis and he is going to share some inspiration and life lessons. How are you doing today? I'm good. Good? This apple is really good. How is that apple? Do you like the red apples or the green apples better? You know what? I like the golden apples the best. The golden apple. You never had like a golden the, apple? Like does it turn gold from the red or something? I've never had a golden apple. I'm actually not sure. <laughs> I've never had a golden apple. It's really good. That doesn't sound like it would be good because if it's red or green and it turns gold, I feel like it's because it's, it's rotten. No, no, no. No, it doesn't taste like Golden that. apples are really, really good. Like, especially golden apple juice. Okay. It's a different type of apple taste. You know, green apple is like more sour and then yeah. the red is like That's golden apple. So, what's the golden then? It's just gold. It's gold. Did <laughs> you ever know. use apples when you were a kid to like get rid of them? Um, whenever you had a loose tooth or something? Yeah, you, you bite that? into it. I never. I did was actually that. too scared to no, do that. No, I never did that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would always twist it, so then I had crooked me ass too, teeth me too. and had I'll braces just play forever. With it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then it'll eventually just snap out. <laughs> okay. So enough about the apples. Um, and you, the teeth. <laughs> and the teeth. So you were all about leadership and use, and I think that's so awesome to see being, I mean, you're only 20, but you don't even see people who are in their late 20s, 30s talking about positive things like that. So today I want to talk to you about a life lesson that you would want to share with your fans, like whether that was something you went through in your career mm -hmm. that was a struggle or just something that fans need to hear to like inspire them in a way. It's actually like, I like to take my own advice, so it's actually something that I'm working on myself, Okay. but two main important things. So one is dropping expectations, Okay. period. You know, out of life because when we start to expect things, we we raise the chances of us being let down or upset. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, for example, you're expecting somebody's tape. Somebody, somebody's mixtape, like your, expect, your expectations is like, yo, it's gonna, it's gonna be, be so now. great. You know, it's gonna be so bomb. And then it comes out and just like, it's not so bomb. And it's just like, you're trying to you're kind of disappoint. But apply that to all aspects <laughs> of life though. All right. aspects of life, you know, even when you're going into a meeting or, you know, you're meeting up with someone, you know, mm -hmm. Just don't expect anything. What was Except, acceptance? What was something in your life where you expected something, and then it was something where you were let down, where you were like, "Okay, I really need to stop doing that." So, what was that moment? Um, I can't really think of anything from the top of my head. But I'm sure it's been a lot of those moments. Mm -hmm. Probably, um, <laughs> probably with like uh, girls or something. Okay. Uh, yeah, or like I don't know. <laughs> okay. Or, What's uh, the second thing that you want to talk about? Uh, the second thing is. Don't not taking anything personal. That's a great one. Yeah, like, and that's another thing because um, you know, I'm just trying to be happy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just trying to be positive at all times. Like, I don't even want to discuss anything negative, really. I mean, we got to discuss the negative things, but I don't want to be in a negative mind state or anything. So that one right there, not taking anything personal, it really affects that because you know it's certain things that people say to you especially me now that mm. you know i have a voice i have this platform i'm like a c-list celebrity and everything so you know people say things to me that like i could really feel a way about yeah. but i don't like that you said c-list because you're like the a-list i'm always going to degrade myself well, you, you know, know what? <laughs> i'm going to upgrade you yeah <laughs> i mean <laughs> if i say c-list then that means i could work my way up hey i can't just say i'm a-list i have nowhere to go Okay. You know what I'm so I mean, talking about that, because of your platform and how many people follow you. So there's some people where I've seen artists or different personalities where they really go through their negative comments, but they'll block it and they'll flag it. So it's yeah. how do you how do you deal with that? Because I mean, we can't please everybody in a way. So how you do know you what? Deal with you that? just gotta realize that they don't understand. Mm -hmm. They don't understand what you go through. You know, something as simple as when I'm coming out of a concert or something and there's a whole bunch of people running to me after the concert and everybody's trying to take a photo. Yeah. You know, for me, I, I can't be unfair. And if I take one photo, I have you to take all. all. You yeah. feel me? So I just be like, no, I'm not taking any photos. You yeah. know, and then that's something that they don't understand though. They don't understand that. Like, like they'd be like, yo, just take one photo, man. The one yeah. photo just with me. But yeah. it's all of these people. It's like, yeah. bro. If I take one photo, yeah, I'm gonna have to be here for the next 30 minutes and take mm -hmm. it all of them. So, but that's just something they can't understand, you know. And and that's a lot of things. Yeah. It's a lot of things that I do that they just can't understand. Like they don't understand the long nights in the studio. They don't yeah. understand from 5 a.m. working to the next yeah. 5 a.m. You understand? Yeah. Like they don't understand that. So, you just gotta live with that. 
what do you think has been like the biggest like misconception when it comes to you? Just on mm. that note. The biggest misconception when it comes to me. I mean, like, it's, it's a lot of things, you know, people, sometimes they have this expectation for me, like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know what type of, what kind of things they expect me to say or something like that. Like, I mean, the reality of it is I'm an extremely outgoing person, mm -hmm. super extroverted, you know, I love making friends, I love, you know, being social and stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't know, sometimes people see me and they, I guess they expect me to be a little more reserved Oh. And stuff like that, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not really too shy. You yeah. know, I'm like a, a loving person, people person. Like you know, I'm gonna say what's on my mind, type of thing. So I don't know. But yeah, when it comes to rap, I guess they have a misconception of me or something. I don't know. It's weird. Well, I mean, there's this one quote I've always heard about. Um, I think you'll like it about taking things personally. And it was, if they don't know you personally, don't take it personal. So it's like anyone can say anything about right. you, but if you have never had a conversation with you or I face to face, what can you really say? That's what I'm like, saying. They don't anyone? understand. You don't even know. So anything you're saying is just, all right, you can have that. Like, um, whatever. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Okay. Last yeah. question. Like I said, it's. It's very rare to see someone who, not that I'm saying you're like super, super young, I'm not that yeah. much older than you, but I'm saying like just with this new generation and these younger people, you see like the, just the violence or like just the negativity, people hating on other people, but it's like you seem very, very mature for your age and I just, I'm interested to know like what made you or who made you like this well-rounded person where you don't get lost in that stuff and you just try to be positive and mom, you want to be. Mom, mom Dukes, yeah, um, my mom, is the probably the biggest role model in my life, mm -hmm. the most influential person in my life. Um, from music to character to personality, you know, my mom really held that mm -hmm. down for me. You know, she she was my role model. She showed me like, you know, what a man is supposed to be like, you know, or how to be respectful, everything, how to be mm -hmm. just mature. And from from an early age, you know, my mom really taught me how to do things on my own. So that's where a lot of it comes from as well, you know, my independence, my, my drive to just be independent. What was like the, like the number one lesson that your mom taught you that you're like, you'll never forget that? And how old were you when she oh, taught you it? It's probably not the number one lesson, but it's probably the number one greatest thing she's done for me. Okay. Just as a child growing up. Um, I remember one day we was in the car and she probably won't ever remember this, but I do. And I asked her, I must have been like six or seven years old, mm -hmm. and I asked her, I was like, Ma, what's our religion? Because, you know, I was going to school, and then I, I started seeing kids with like, you know, wearing the, the head wraps mm -hmm. and everything, so I understood that as yeah. they, are, like, you know, had different religions or, you know, it was because of religion. So I asked my mom, what's our religion? And I forgot the term that she used, the exact term that she used, but what she said was, we don't have a religion, but we believe in God. I'm all about that because people say like, yeah. okay, if you're all about, I love hearing that because yeah. I'm like that too and you don't really get to talk about that Word. much with artists, but okay, I, I'm not going to lie, like I swear at times or even if I Same drink here. once in a while. Same so I do a lot of videos where I talk about God and stuff and they're like, how can you say that or what religion are you, whatever. I'm like, you guys don't understand. It's not about your religion and it's not about you going to church every day of right. the week or being whatever. Like, all God cares about is your relationship with him. Yeah. So nothing else outside of that matters. And as long as yeah. you know that you're doing good by mm -hmm. God, your good by yourself, you know, you're just being a righteous person, you know, because if you're being good, you're being a righteous person and you don't go to church, you're going to go to hell. But that's too who, who is really like that's perfect deep. though, and it's just a good person true. 24 hours true. out of the day. True. I don't think there's anyone except or, God, really. Exactly. But that's about it. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time, and no we're looking forward for when you come back to the show. Yes. All right. Thank you, John.